Disney World or as one of your favorite sport teams mascot? Have you ever thought about what it takes to be a Division I college mascot and entertain crowds of over 2,000 people? Today we'll go under the mask and, find, and finally find out. Today's guest will talk about her experiences of being a freelance mascot and making it all the way to the 2008 MAAC Conference Basketball Playoffs in Albany, New York. The Mass Humanities Mass Communications Department at Nora Community College presents The New Directors, a show that introduces you to television future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join your host, Lisa Laurenti, to meet the next new director. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when are not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring you this program with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct four different productions. This program will give them a chance to talk about themselves, the productions they have plan been planning, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Today's guest has been performing as a freelance mascot from the time she was 10 years old. Her resume includes the Norwalk High School Beer and Petey the Griffin for King College, Division I School in Buffalo, New York, and the winners of the 2008 MACC Conference Lacrosse Playoffs. Born and raised in Nor Norwalk, Connecticut, she has returned to her hometown while towards her associates in studio arts and hopes to graduate by spring 2010. Please welcome our guest, Leah Rose Schwartz. Hi. So, you're a mascot. That's yep. pretty exciting. We don't hear that commonly with females. You don't. It's uh, actually very uncommon with females. You don't hear that too much. Please tell us about being a mascot. You know, I started when I was little. Um, you know, you go to Disney World, you see all the characters running around, and it was just something that I wanted to do. And in elementary school, like the parents would joke, oh, Leah's going to go work at Disney after college. And so I decided to run with that joke a little bit. And my first uh, performance. I was 10 years old and they needed something for a Halloween party so they asked me to come dress up for little kids and I was blue from Blue's Clues so here you see me four years old with the Dalmatian just I was enamored by them and you know I went to Disney World so after that they had me be the Easter Bunny a couple times here and there just different jobs Then when I went to high school I went to Norwalk High I saw that the bear wasn't out too much so I talked to the uh, head of athletics and he's like, well, we really don't have a great costume for it. So I was on the board to help bring a new mascot to Norwalk High. Here's me as the Easter Bunny. And we actually got the person who designed the Yukon Husky mascot to come in and design ours and build ours. It was a great costume and graduating, you had a lot of fun, went to all the football games, went to all the pep rallies and it was great because no one knew who you were went up to Buffalo, New York to uh, Canisius College where I saw that they were holding mascot tryouts. And thing was, before I went up to college, I had back surgery where they removed part of my spine. And everyone was like, well, you're pretty much not gonna mascot ever again. So I kind of wanted to prove them wrong. I uh, had to try out, had to go through plenty of interviews, uh, tried out against five other people who could do flips and cartwheels. And I just had the uh, character to me. And while I was up there, they had me do a few uh, freelance jobs. This was with Buffalo News, which is the main newspaper up there. I also performed as Rax from the Buffalo Bandits, which is a professional lacrosse team. And I worked with Tim Hortons. That's a 10-foot coffee cup. So my eyes are about halfway through there. It was a really heavy costume. And it was just fun, like making a lot of connections, made a lot of friends. And when I came back to Norwalk, that was one of the things I left behind. But it was great. It was basically you go out and you have fun. And there were crowds of over 2,000 people at some point. I really do miss the job a lot, but I'm still available for work. That's great. Thank you. 
Could you tell us why you decided to take this TV production course? Well, TV production pretty much runs in my blood. My dad uh, was a video editor for NBC for the Today Show back in the 80s. And growing up, you know, play around with a video camera here and there. And it finally got to the point where I wanted to just go along with more video. I actually started enjoying it more. What are some of the most useful things that you uh, learned in our TV production course? There are a couple things. The main thing is how to use the camera. You know, you want to film some videos, you're going to have to use a the camera there. And it's not just set up the camera, point, click, zoom. You got to do a whole lot of uh, composition. That was the main thing we learned here. We learned how to do different lines, lines of grace, lines of emotion that add emotion to the video. So say you have some vertical lines, that's going to add power and strength. If you have some diagonal lines, it's going to add some sense of action. Uh, horizontal lines pretty much keep everything calm and still. Also used, how, used, learned how to use Avid, which is our editing program here, which at the beginning was a little difficult, but now it's much better. And the main thing I learned here was you have to work as a team with people. You can't really come in and do it all on your own because you're going to ask for help and there are going to be people behind you helping you. Could you tell us about the productions that you made in uh, TV One? Definitely. Um, I made a series of productions. Uh, sequence project was our first project we did. We were given the instructions to go out on our own to film different productions using uh, different shots and what I did was here. It's a story about an orange, which later comes up in our orange project, which was fun to meet our friend the orange again. So you have different close-ups of objects just to portray what's actually happening here. The main thing I wanted to do was tell a story because we weren't allowed to use any lines. So it was just telling a story through pictures. This is actually a fun project. This is my favorite. The next one we have here is my Guns and Hoses project. Here we took pre-recorded video and we brought it into Avid and we learned how to use different effects. Here's a picture in picture effect with a color effect um, just to make a television commercial. The graphics. And here's a strobe effect. Mainly what this project was used for was to learn the different effects of Avid and how it can be used to your advantage to take video and then create either a show or a commercial, here being the commercial. This is my nature project. I did spring in New England. Here we learn different shots. Uh, poor man's dissolve, shift focus, which is my absolute favorite. And it was once again conveying emotion and sort of meaning, not really a story here, but a sort of emotion using different pictures while at the same time, you know, you're taking hours of footage, condensing it down to just a couple of minutes. My last project was the Orange Story, and we did it a bit different, me and my partner. Here we took, uh, did a little role reversal where I had to make extremely detailed sheets of how I wanted each shot to go in. And she went in and did the shot, so it was pretty much practice for me on how to okay, so really do a storyboard and, then and you're gonna using a like, TV experience. On. We had to take a show that would kind of inspire us, so I took NCIS, which is one of my favorite television shows, and played on that. It's a good choice. Yeah. Now, I know you had to have one favorite project. Please tell us about that. My favorite project, funny enough, was the learning project. As an artist, you know, I'm taught that sometimes your best work is done without any prior training. So let's listen in for a bit.
was my favorite project that I've done. I really think it is my best one. Um, I took the title, it's a parody off of Man vs. Wild. We have Woman vs. Orange here. And it just showed a lot of emotion, even though you still have your zoom ins and your close ups, it still really showed a story, and it's still my favorite of all the projects I did. After these projects, what would you like to create next? More videos, definitely more videos. Now that I'm getting used to editing, I think that it will really come to my advantage. I make uh, music videos as it is now, taking pre existing shows and setting them to pre existing songs. And now, knowing how to compose and do composition, I think that it will actually come out much better. Because I'll know instead of just doing, oh, that shot, oh, that shot, each shot will have a meaning to them. Right. And what career would you like to pursue after graduation? After graduation, I'm trying to get my associates here, and I would like to transfer to a four-year school, either Savannah College of Art and Design, or another one, maybe the American Art University. And I would like to pursue animation. I would like to be a character concept designer for animation. That's great. Thank you. Today we got to meet someone who performed as a Division I college mascot entertaining crowds of over 2,000 people and who has shared with us some of her mascotting journey. She hopes to take what she has learned in television production and apply it to not only live action films but feature animation films as well. We would like to thank Leah for joining us today. Thank you. We hope you have enjoyed meeting some of television's future directors and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and good day. This has been New Directors, your host, Lisa Ren Lorenti, directed by Dallas Fiara. I'm your announcer, Curtis Ellison. This has been a Norwalk Community College student production.